AITA for leaving after being told to be quiet at dinner? The title probably makes it sound worse than it was. But I'm still conflicted. My F21 boyfriend, M24, of almost a year, invited me to dinner with his family. Mom, dad and his 16 years old brother. Never met them prior to that. The only thing I knew about them is that they're conservative and Christians but lovely people. And they were. I got along really well with them. Before dinner, they were lovely and talkative. When it was time for dinner, my BFS dad wanted to pray. After praying he said, something along the lines of, let us dig and let the food keep us quiet. This is a pretty popular saying in our country mostly told to young children in school. My understanding of this has always been that you shouldn't speak with food in your mouth or be extremely loud at the table. I wouldn't say it's a cultural thing, though. I dug in, took a bite, it was fish soup, absolutely delicious. And you know, like a good guest I wanted to compliment the cook. This is delicious as it's saffron? A perfect autumn soup, my BFS brother looked surprised. My BFS father hushed me. Big time. A really aggressive shish with a finger over his lips. And then he said, again, let the food keep us quiet. I apologized because I thought I had accidentally spoken with food in my mouth or something. But a few minutes passed and nobody said a word. Super awkward and weird. Especially since they had been so talkative before. My BF was also unusually quiet. After a few minutes I was too weirded out and asked about their day. And how nice it was that they invited me there. And his mother did the hush thing? So awkward. I think this is when it clicked. No speaking at all at the table. Let the food keep us quiet. Really quiet. But this was a super awkward situation. And I couldn't deal with that. Imagine sitting at a table with five people. Everybody eating soup looking dead serious. So I laughed. It just slipped out. Ended up being told off by BFS parents that I was being disrespectful etc. And if I didn't respect how their household worked I could eat alone in the kitchen. We were eating in like a separate dining room. So I thanked them for the food and left to the hotel me and BF stayed at. My boyfriend later told me that was an asshole move. That I should have just kept quiet or eat alone in the kitchen. I understand their family traditions and rules. But it was so weird. I just couldn't take it anymore. Was I being an asshole though? I would not want to be a part of this family. NTA your BF should have warned you before going. How does that meal even help you meet them? I feel a different activity would have made more sense. NTA your boyfriend is tough for not warning you that his family is weird AF. NTA your boyfriend should have warned you in advance that you weren't allowed to speak at the table. In his family. And when it came apparent that you didn't know that was a thing. They could have calmly explained except of shushing you or sending you to the kitchen like a child. I would have left as well. TBH. I mean I am going with NTA because 1. VF didn't warn you beforehand too. Because when spoke they just hushed you instead of. IDK. Taking 10 seconds to explain the rule? I think you were put in an incredibly awkward situation and therefore didn't really know how to. React? Also I am someone who laughs when nervous or uncomfortable so I too would have been in trouble. Also I could not have dinner with a family who says absolutely no speaking at the dinner table. I would be incredibly uncomfortable only hearing other people's eating noises. NTA. He could have warned you and given you the opportunity to skip dinner because you don't dine in. Monasteries. Also you are not a three-year-old to be sent to the kitchen to eat alone. NTA cause your BF should have given you a heads up about this unusual tradition. NTA it's weird that your boyfriend didn't give you a heads up though. NTA. 
Because honestly, I'm picturing myself in your situation. I would have been too taken aback to do the right thing and adapt after that initial shock. Meeting parents is anxiety-inducing as it is. And your boyfriend should have informed you of the proper table manners way ahead of time. NTA. They told you to be silent in the rudest, weirdest power play possible. Then had the nerve to tell a grown woman to eat alone as a punishment. As if they have the right to punish you. His family is toxic. This isn't conservative. It's insane. These are the isolated Christian types that use it as an excuse to lord power over others. They're obsessed with control and I would bet money that this is only the tip of the iceberg with their unhinged demands. Avoid them up. Nothing good will come from that kind of dynamic. Info. Is this a common practice where you are? Is it more of an outdated tradition you knew of and had never seen or had you never come across? this before? If it were me in my country I'd absolutely say you're not an asshole I'm not sure I could have kept a straight face over such an absurd and outlandish request but that's on the basis of the cultural norms of the countries I've lived in. It really depends on how common this is in your country and how reasonable it was for you to not know about it, for them to expect it. NTA. I also can't help myself from giggling in uncomfortable situations. But I can see why they found it disrespectful. And I'd leave too if they told me to go sit alone in the kitchen and my boyfriend said, did nothing. He should have told you in the first place how weird his family is at the dinner table so the whole thing would have been avoided. They were willing to kick you out from the table but when you did so yourself. You're the asshole? Rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing I would have laughed and left too. NTA. The entire family is. NTA. Because your BF didn't prepare you beforehand. This is such an uncommon situation that he should have absolutely given you a heads up before. Yes. You reacted a bit immature by laughing. But there are people who have that reaction when uncomfortable and you clearly were. Also this is a wild way to host a guest. NTA. Super rude that your boyfriend didn't tell you about this in advance. Also seems like he lacks self-awareness in being mad at you afterwards when it was his fault in the first place. I would say esh but I really think that if you knew about this in advance then you would have handled it better. I get that you were nervous and confused so a laugh slipping out isn't unusual. The day someone told me to go eat in the kitchen is the day I would be done not only with the meal, but with the ah boyfriend who thought I should have considered the idea. The most worrisome part is that he didn't think what they did was the rudest feeing thing I've ever heard. The fact that he didn't warn you ahead of time is a huge red flag emo. NTA your BF should have given you a heads up. He didn't and put you in a position to be chastised by his family. Info. Does your BF keep quiet when you two have dinner together? NTA. This is so weird and your BF should have warned you. So you had the choice to meet his parents at a neutral place and or choose a different setting than a dinner. He knows that eating in silence is not the norm and would be uncomfortable for you. So why would he pick this as the time to meet his parents? And his parents were extremely rude to shush a grown adult and demand a guest eat alone in the kitchen. What was the point of even inviting you to dinner? NTA you did not know their unusual custom. They should have kindly and calmly explained their house rules to you. Your BF should have definitely explained this to you before you visited. Not knowing an esoteric rule is not disrespectful. Shushing a guest is disrespectful. They disrespected you, not the other way around. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, 
share, and subscribe.